Suspension Bridge Exploration. This is Go Island. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, and Tice Pool Supervisor is lacing me up so I have a full body out. harness on as I go out on the bridge to get a look and see what we got going on. So we have lots of stuff coming up in today's show, but I gotta say, this is probably the highlight. You're gonna wanna tighten, tighten that. Maybe I'll let you tighten Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know, go ahead. My wife might see this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, you tape it. <laughs> Oh, he taped it shut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this might be a little while. So yeah. we're going to have a look at this story right here in Campbell River, but we'll be back. So stay tuned. All right, we're heading out on the deck. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. See, I'm all tied up. These things anchor me to the bridge, one of the upper cables. Oh, can't wait. Let's go. All right, and in the meantime, you guys can watch this from Comox Valley. So you see how this is working. So there's two of them, and to get around the post, one stays secure, and this one comes up and over. And then I still have two, and it's hanging on to me. I'm in a full body harness, so this is super safe. And, but when, when the bridge is done, there's gonna be mesh here, steel mesh, that you're not gonna be able to go anywhere, and you'll be able to go on your tippy toes and look up and over at the falls. It's gonna be so much fun. Anyway, in the meantime, we're gonna have a look at this story. We'll be back. All right. Oh my God. This is fantastic. Oh my God. This is so cool. You okay? Yep. <laughs> All right, no, I think this is far enough. Don't want to go out to the end? No, this is good. Because I can see everything from here. This is really amazing. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are out on the suspension bridge. Joining me is Tice Poole. You know him well. He's the supervisor of this entire project. Tice, now we're out over the canyon. What a magnificent view. Yep. The water is almost deafening, it's so loud. Yeah, it's really loud for sure. And then on this side, the view is equally as stunning. There's rocks and there's some white water and it's really neat. Yeah, it's a very beautiful day. No, no, earlier you said there was an eagle in one place down there. Yeah, there was an eagle sitting right on the trees right above the river looking for fish, I guess. This is going to be amazing for all of those tourists that are coming from all over the place. They're going to love this. Yeah. So tell us right now what you guys are working on. Right now we're just installing the deck panels and uh, the posts and the angle supports that the deck sits on. And okay. Slowly creeping our train way across the canyon. Well, I got to tell you, this deck is so grippy. It's like a cheese grater. Oh, yeah. It's sharp. Even in the wet, in the rain, it just like there's, it's absolutely, I'm, it feels like it's ripping my hiking boots <laughs> to <laughs> pieces. There it is. Rip my knuckles apart, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, from an installation point of view, how challenging is it to put these posts on? Like, what goes first, the posts Pretty or the deck? Pretty challenging. We have to go out. The deck goes to here, so Ryan, my fellow worker there, he goes out on the cable, standing like this. Basically, well, I pass him the post and we bolt yeah. it on while one guy's standing just on the cables beyond the decking and the other guy's on the edge of the decking. Wow. We have to bolt it together and slide it out yeah. just to get the deck supports out and then yeah. we bolt the decking on. So. Wow, that is hairy. amazing. It's <laughs> not for the big heart. <laughs> no, it would definitely not. So we're about 150 up? Something like that, yeah. 150 feet up. Unbelievable. And I bet from the other side, looking back down, it's going to, every, like, five feet that you go, you're going to have a different view. Yeah. Because it changes oh, how far sure. out you can see. Yeah, now we can see the parking lot. Oh, from where you are. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Gotcha. This is really cool. Now, 
the secondary cable there, what's that for? That's just our airline that we use for our oh, air drill for drilling holes in the rock. Okay. The rock All right. Okay, so you guys are working on the decking, and when the decking is finished, what's the next step? After the deck goes on, then we have two more smaller cables, one's at this height and one's at that height. Okay. For mid rails to support the chain link fencing. Okay. We have to install those. Then we have to go back and actually tighten all these bolts because they're not as tight as they're supposed to be at the end. Okay. Get all awesome. sort of aligned properly. All right. Cool. And that, and get it fenced and it's done. All right. We got to finish the stairs to get down to it. All right. Well, we'll talk about that next. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back. The trick is not to look down. You can sign <laughs> it wrong. But Tice thinks I should go all the way to the edge to have a look, so I'm going to do that. We're going to have a look at this story, but we'll be right back. Okay, it's very impressive. All right, <laughs> so here I am. We at Go Island is on location today at Elk Falls and the suspension bridge is well underway as you can see. We are about halfway across, so we're kind of right at the base of where it swings the lowest. But the view is unbelievable. In every direction, it is absolutely breathtaking. Now, Tice is hanging on to me and I'm roped to the cables because I'm gonna take my iPhone out and I'm gonna take some photos and some video that we're gonna work into what we're doing. So, and then we're gonna come back across and do another interview with Tice about the stairs and the down viewing platform at the bottom of the hill over there. So in the meantime, have a look at this and we'll be right back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, this is Tice Pool. Now Tice, we're looking at some aluminum framing that is gonna hold up the stairs and the upper platform. So it looks like you guys put it together here, but how much of it came pre-assembled? Um, it all came in pieces. We, our, shop, our fabrication shop built it in the couch today. Okay. We've assembled it all here. So all the welding was done in the shop. Everywhere there's a bolted connect and that's where you can see And you guys did that here on site? It's all here on site, moved it all down the hill by hand. Wow, what a job, man. Yeah. Really heavy physics. You must be in fantastic. I can't tell because of all the gear. I feel like I'm in great. Really a physical job because you guys have been working here for what, four, six, six months now? Yeah, it's all. And it's all uphill. It's, it is not an easy climb, let me tell you. And Gord, he's feeling it especially. Now, way down there at the base of this particular set of stairs, that is going to be the viewer viewing platform, right? Where you can yeah. see that wood that that's wood been put is, in yeah. place. Okay, so that's good. How, explain how that's going to work. Where you can see where that wood platform comes off, there's a concrete footing, and that's the end of the concrete structure, like what we have here on the stairs. And then the platform's going to cantilever out pretty much to the edge of the cliff, so you'll be able to walk out almost to the edge of the cliff and look down. Wow. And uh, view the canyon from there as well. Awesome. Now, what sort of meshing is going to be in place for the sides, um, like at the fence? On here, it's just going to have cedar top, four cedar 
trails. Oh, okay, nice. It'll all be woods. So It'll be pretty. It'll sort of blend in, but really nice. Yeah, nice. It looks really industrial. And then the bridge itself will have galvanized chain link on it. Okay. And chain link is big enough that you can take photographs through. Yeah, so basically like this, but yeah. metal. Okay, great. Well, that's super. All right, well, we'll check back in a couple of weeks. Thank you again for today and all the safety. And yeah, this is really fantastic. Very excited to be here. So we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back. Go Island is on location today at the very top of Elk Falls, looking down at the falls actually from the brand new suspension bridge that the deck is halfway across. We are getting close. But of course, there's all kinds of finishing touches that are going to take at least another couple of months. So it won't be open to the public just yet. But when it is, this is a place you definitely yeah, want to really come down. for a walk. Yeah, the great thing about the, the stairs behind Gore is the stairs go all the way up to the top the of the next kind of cliff and, and it hooks up with all the trails. Okay, and the trails the go can, all right, the way place. through Elk, Par Elk Falls, Elk Falls Provincial Park, yeah. and they all hook up together. So you can do a great big loop. It's going to be amazing. We'll now, the when the, for the first year, when they get across the other side, the trail's going to stop there at the bridge. They're still trying to figure out where they're going to take the trail from the end of the bridge that way. And once they get that figured out, maybe next summer, then you'll be able to carry right on. But for now, you'll go to the end of the bridge, stop, have a look, take some photo box, turn around, and come back. So we're going to have a look at this story. But don't go away. We're going to be right back. I'm Mary Lucas. You've been watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. This has been absolutely a fantastic experience to be able to be out here while it's still under construction. So thank you to Tice Pool for arranging this and for putting me in a full body harness so that I'm not going anywhere. The bridge itself is designed to hold 300, no, 400, 300 pound men. So it's not moving at all with me. Now these guys make it go back and forth a little bit. Now, hey, <laughs> quit showing up. All right, so uh, this is gonna be open to the public in another couple of months. They still have a lot of work to do, but just know that this is gonna be fantastic for everybody in Campbell River, everybody who comes to visit, all the tourists. This is gonna be an incredible tourism draw, no doubt. So thanks very much for watching today's show. Have a fabulous week, and we'll see you in a couple of days.